everyone, this is Maki. I'm really looking forward to the Gundam Seed movie. Mr. Mitsuo Fukude, the director who was in charge of the Gundam Seed series, has made a comment. The bonus audio drama included with the Sea Destiny remastering this contains a story that connects to the movie. This time, I'll introduce one of the audio dramas. It's really enjoyable to predict which parts will connect to the movie. The central character in the drama I'm introducing today is Arthur Trine. Oh, does his name not ring a bell? He is the vice captain of the battleship Manava to which the protagonist Shin belongs. In the context of the story, he plays a supporting role. It's understandable if you don't remember him. He didn't stand out as much as the main characters. However, he is a person significant enough to be chosen as the vice captain of a battleship equipped with the latest soft mobile suits. Perhaps in the movie, he might assume the role of the repaired Manova's captain. The subtitle of the audio drama I'm talking about today is The Chosen Future. What kind of story does it depict? Arthur visits a boy named William Gladys. He is the son of Talia Gladys, the captain of the Manava who perished in the final battle of Sea Destiny. Talia disappeared into the frames along with Gilbert Tuano and Ray Zopero inside the collapsing space fortress. Arthur visits William to hand over Talia's belongings. However, William declares that he doesn't need her possessions. He feels abandoned by his mother. Arthur is taken aback by William's cold response. He decides to leave keeping the belongings for the time being. While pondering at the cafe, Arthur is approached by Afran Zar. Afran was responsible for the Manava's crash during the final battle of Sea Destiny. Despite the awkwardness stemming from that event, Arthur approaches Afran in a friendly and cheerful manner. During their conversation, Arthur reveals some intriguing information. The battleship Manava had its engines destroyed by Athran and crushed. However, as a result of being removed from the front lines, the hull itself sustained minimal damage. The fate of the Manava after the evacuation of its crew was not depicted in the final battle of Sea Destiny. This dialogue confirms that Apart from the engine block, the maneuver remains intact. Perhaps the movie will feature the return of the maneuver. Arthur consults with Afrin about the belongings. Afrin responds you should dispose of them. According to the wishes of the bereaved family, Arthur discusses the significance of the belongings and is troubled. This drama carefully portrays Arthur's empathetic nature towards others. Afrin continues to provide guidance for Arthur's dilemma saying, either give up or have an honest conversation with William. Upon hearing Afrin's answer, Arthur returns to William. Arthur obtains permission from the school teacher, who serves as William's guardian to temporarily hold the belongings. Furthermore, Arthur offers to become William's secondary guardian. William expresses his hatred towards the person whom his mother last clung to although no name is mentioned. It is likely referring to Gilbert Juano. It is unclear if William is aware of Ray Zoboro's existence. Driven by his fear that William might discard someone important out of hatred, also reveals his fondness for Talia Gladys. He explains that his feelings were not of romantic nature but rather of deep respect for her. In front of William, Arthur honestly reveals many things. William begins to open up to Arthur, shedding the coldness from his tone and adopting a softer one. This direction showcases the remarkable skill of the voice actors. 
Then, Arthur and William discuss their favorite foods as they engage in trivial conversation. Time passes by the audio drama concludes with the voices of the two spending peaceful moments together. The title of this audio drama is The Chosen Future. It might represent William, who became lonely due to the consequences of Talia Gladys' choices. It could also symbolize Arthur's decision to become William's guardian, essentially becoming a close family-like figure. One could even interpret it as Arthur preventing the chosen future of William, discarding his mother's belongings. How did you feel about it? The audio drama brought attention to an unexpected character. William's age was mentioned to be 10 or 11. As stated by Arthur, it might be a bit challenging for him to appear as a pilot in the movie. Yu So Yuin from Mobile Suit Victory Gundam is 13 years old. William is much younger than him, however, a pilot even younger than him recently appeared. It's Ellicott from Witch from Mercury, who piloted a Gundam at the astonishing age of 4. She even achieved remarkable feats, unilaterally shooting down mobile suits operated by military personnel. Considering William's age, it wouldn't be entirely impossible for him to appear as a pilot within the framework of the Gundam series. However, it would dominate the story to such an extent that it becomes overly sensational. It's probably a low possibility. There are two important pieces of information obtained from this audio drama first. The friendly conversation between Athran and Arthur suggests a potential cooperative relationship. In the movie Secondary, the intact condition of the Manavis Hall indicates the possibility of Arthur, now the captain and Athran, joining forces. What are your thoughts and impressions? Please feel free to share your opinion in the comments. Lastly, let me provide you with important information leading to the movie. The Minerva has a total of three engine units, all of which were destroyed by Afran's Infinite Justice Gunnam. By clicking the subscribe button on your screen, one engine block will be repaired. Additionally, pressing the good button will repair another block. Finally, pressing the bell button will repair the third engine block. The decision of whether the Manago will appear in the movie is up to you. Please let this magnificent battleship shine once again.